You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Stich. We're diving today in the unknown, unexpected, deep, creative mind together with Ray Kinley. Hi, Ray. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we are already, we had two parts, very interesting parts. And like I say, I mean, it is to keep that on 20 minutes somehow. Um, I could talk for ages, but I must say we're sitting here at Mardax Magpie. That is um, actually an upholstery uh, shop combined with, with uh, a, a second-hand shop and surrounded by a lot of thousand stories and everything i mean yeah. it it is actually completely the different way the, the other the opposite of that what where are we gonna go in which direction now because i mean we had a chat ab about the 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 gift and and the the uh the um um the inspiration of storytelling and um and now because we're gonna go in a completely different direction which is, which is quite dense and dry and uh, it really did my head off i mean i wrote my thesis about shamanism art and digital culture which was uh, a lot about 21st century and um where are we where are we gonna go which direction i mean towards the enhancement of us humans uh, and uh, about the the connection of the interface connection with computers so uh and i was wondering if we can keep this this our or how long we can keep our our ability to 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 do storytellings from how far we can keep our ability to keep our storytelling without getting um already too much enhanced by technology so transhumanism yeah so, so transhumanism is the en enhancement of humans through technology And I mean, we are in the middle of that. And you, you use technology already for the purpose in order to yeah. enhance your storytelling. Yeah. You see, this has always been the dilemma. As I said in part two, I think that social media and technology has got its positives. But I have kind of uh, wrestled with the fact of going the whole route of the transhuman intelligence and bringing it into art as well. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, and I hope I've got some answers. I don't yeah. know if I have got answers. I'm still exploring it. Yeah. And I know at this particular junction, I think it's the very same kind of societal change as we saw in the 1600s. When yeah. we had the Enlightenment, yeah. and when we had uh, in, uh, the Industrial Revol uh, Revolution, the Reformation, uh, colonialism, yeah. and so this time where it's another kind of shift change, and at this point, it is and it isn't. Do you think, <coughs> how do, what makes you think it isn't? Uh, I mean, when when are we really when when are we going to go back to two thousand years back? Mm. Or a little bit more, some three hundred years more back, back when, when, when our fonts, the 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 Greek and Arabic um, writing was invented, and when when Plato's was already warning mm. people if you if you're gonna if you're gonna use it, you you lose it. That means if you're gonna use writing, you use you lose the 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 ability of of uh, storytelling. 
because your 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 long term memory will will replace by, by 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 writing stories, you know, and not by telling them, you know. So that means already more than two thousand years uh, evolutionary rise, we we were we were getting used to accept that a line can mean something, mm. a line on paper or just something black <coughs> by light. We saw that just a, a black line, mm. and we accepted, or the humans accepted this as a, uh, a way of communication that it means maybe a letter or whatever. And we were able then to 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 code all these informations together to for, for 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 a sense of purpose, you know. Yeah, but also when you think about it, when we picked up the pen. Now I'm a lover of writing because indeed I've had things yeah. published. Yeah. But. It was also used at the time to uh, create documents. It was the start of the academic, you know, the, the universities, and it was needed. Writing was important for that purpose. Yeah. And I actually think, if you look at it too, that oh, empirical knowledge was actually kind of scaffolded by the pen, you know, fact dot the i i mean that's an interesting term dot the i yeah yeah and so there was a a, a socialization and behavior comes into these shift changes as well absolutely so we, we've we're now on a sort of the new transhuman era i suppose yeah. so there'll be different socialization even yeah. getting used to online banking online mm -hmm. shopping mm -hmm. individualism yeah. wow 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 Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. I mean, it is, it is so so society changed, you know, and and but society changed since the beginning of society. I mean, yeah. even since since the beginning of consciousness. I mean, I, consciousness actually is a virus, you know. So we we, we got it from the moment. You know. From the mammals, not from not from the mammals. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. You see, I'm learning something from you. Yeah, yeah. So and 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 I, I understand it more and more that that we are just a part of technology, you know, of of nature, technology of nature, and uh, I hope it doesn't sound too, um, too esoterical, you know. So as a technology of the universe, you know. So and eventually everything is tension and release and 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 uh, and. This technology, what we use now, this digital technology, is for me just an extension of the writing, because, like I say, we we used to be already two thousand years before mm. coded by the writing, and I mean, okay, so for instance, in eleven hundred, we were called the mumbling readers. Oh, tell we're, me more about that. Because we we were not able, and most of us were not able to 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 read in silence, you know. So I mean. Uh, uh, most of our, uh, most of us weren't able to read, but those who, who could read, they were reading like I mean the monks. So, and around seven eleven hundred, um, uh, Hugo Saint Victor he he developed a book called Dicelania or some as a book called in, in the vineyard of the text. I put the link into yeah, the please do yeah. And uh, it is about this time eleven hundred where where he found the syntax a way to change that, to to teach his um, pupils his scholars, uh, to to read in silence. But he changed it through through the syntax through making gaps in words and 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 it took eventually sixty years to turn the society from um, mumbling reading in, into silence reading. You know. The other thing is as well, our brain was not so developed. That means we were not able to speak, no, to to read without speaking because we still were speaking through, uh, understanding things through our ear mm. and not through our mind. Yeah. So our, so our our consciousness was far not so um, advanced like nowadays. You know. Because yeah. there's. I mean, it has been said by some commentators. I can't remember who wrote the book, the the Goddess in the Alphabet, uh, who said that up until very recently, uh, 
which uh, I'm not sure if I should use the word recently, but mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. that the left side of the brain was used far more yeah. because, as I say, I'm not uh, this in kind of academia or anything yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, it yeah, has yeah. its yeah. importance, but we've kind of lost the intuitive. Yeah. That we've kind of lost that way of, I would say, wonder. And when we're talking about transhumanism here, yeah. we've got to consider what does it actually mean? Because at the moment you've got second, uh, these kind of virtual reality like Second Life where you can have a second yeah, life uh, yeah, and I know that, people yeah. are actually uh, wired to their second life yeah. rather than their real life. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, I mean, but social media like Facebook is the same, you know. Yeah, but the kind of difference is I haven't got but, a house. Yeah. And it's, but it is already a second life, so you can you can create an alter ego, and 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 nobody knows, you know, if you're is it really this person we're talking with, you know, it could it could be whatever, you know, yeah. sort of fake. And I mean, there are such a lot of trolls nowadays online. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I started with my Instagram account, and um, I really I started this the social media marketing a couple of months go you know yeah and uh and uh 50 percent of it's, it's just fake you know oh definitely and the, really the other thing is that sometimes when people look at your timeline say on oh, use facebook because that's the most common one still even though i've got a, a me wee one as well but it's kind of like people kind of see your timeline, they think, oh, everything's so good, so great. Like if I yeah, put yeah, up a, sure. a draw and they don't see that yeah. maybe it's taken me quite a bit of time to get that and all the bits of paper that's in the bin and all the kind of yeah. hair that's been taken out. So it kind of does also lend itself to a life that's not necessarily true. And that's, and I've done this, I put something up like oh i've struggled today and then i'll get a comment trying to fix me and it's oh no i don't want fix you know often this kind of wisdom yeah. because i kind of believe as well that it's all the the struggle is important yeah sure the struggle in art or yeah. anything yeah any no so, is so art art has to be painful you know because art art comes from from arthritis <laughs> like that one yeah i mean does it i don't know have you ever <laughs> seen me when I, maybe i've been writing something and i cannot get the right word and yeah. people say just use that word no it doesn't have the rhythm yeah it doesn't it's not quite right and then in my head you know yeah. then i walk past someone in the street ray oh i'm thinking of this word yeah, yeah. so that is not actually kind of uh seen on Facebook so there is a kind of unreality uh, to it as well but yeah but it's that thing when we're talking about transhumanism yeah. is the time like when you, when it come maybe that we will kind of have a computerized brain and which is us. eventually um, which is for me as well uh, uh, subconsequently um, that will happen I mean they are already working with interfaces uh, computer wise to enhance the, the brain and to be honest if you if you really look into into the, the architecture of a computer you know and what humans are doing they 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 copying actually nature so they copying as well the the human brain and in order to to create an architecture and a, com a computerized architecture so what what we dealing now with is this this act this computer architecture is actually just a very 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 enhanced form uh, of our human brain you know so i mean so use as well i mean our human brain works as well with, with chemical and uh, in the chemical and, and uh, um a electrical electronic process you know mm. so and that's the way how computers working as well so for me it's just a matter of time when when we're gonna gonna have this 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 interface from from humans to computers in order to to in in order to get rid of this bloody noise in my background here it's not 20 have. minutes is it no, no, it wasn't 20 minutes <laughs> i come back in a second all right um where where was i um uh, the interface interface yeah um 
for me it's 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 really really it's it's a matter of time and, and unfortunately at the beginning it, it will be like that that probably the the elitists getting used to it that means they get very much advantage of of, of that because they are able to to uh, to enhance their brain and and they are they will be better with this enhancement not just via children who get this dna thing you know so 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 which is another subject which is also another but, subject but so. all this you have or we have to consider as as left wingers you know and that's why i say my opinion is so uh uh technology yes but but we still we have to keep this socio-political discourse ongoing you know so what is doable i mean we are not able to 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 uh to ban things or to restrict things, you know. I mean, censorship is 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 the the graveyard of of um, a democracy. Yeah, you know. I would kind of agree with that. But you see, it is very interesting. It's very interesting, and I wish I could have definite answers because, at the moment. For me, I'm still exploring because, after all, in some of the heavy protests, if it wasn't for a person who could actually take some of the images and put it on YouTube, we yeah. would never know what's actually happening. Yeah. But then also, there's the the other side of it. I always think about as two wings, you know, the left and the sure. right. But I yeah, mean, it's all changing. for the good, for the for the evil. Yeah. I mean, that's the way that's the way it goes. And and there we go. It's pleasure and pain and and yeah. tension and release. And it is actually what we we're just copying really the 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 uh, the energetic of the universe if you see it like that you know so and, yeah. and we have to learn to deal with it uh, on a on a positive way and keep the discourse going somehow you know yeah and maybe because it's the age I am as well because I know now that if you don't know how to use a computer I'm going back just to the simple computer you are you're dyslectic yeah you're actually out of things as well you can't in, and that's I mean, say? I don't think, I think you've got to do, uh, join things like uh, apply for colleges on online now, do you? Yeah, apply for college. Yeah. But online, sure. A lot yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. So if you don't have a, if you don't have a basic knowledge, I would think that yeah. now computer literacy is actually very important. It's, it is, guys, you know, and I really, I mean, that, and that's the same with this podcast. I mean, I really, I... I was trying to avoid all the social marketing things and, 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 and. But a couple of months before I, I realized that left. If you're not going to do that, you know, you, 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 you become as well a, a social marketing dyslectic. And as artists, like we are it, we need this solidarity from other people as well, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, that's the bread and butter for us nowadays, too, yeah. you know. It yeah. is, I mean, if we want it or not, you know, and, and rebelling against it, I think it doesn't make, sense anymore because then you lose your energy you know so yeah. and i think if you put this energy into a discourse yeah and into your creativity much more help than than being against everything you know? and i would actually have to say even though you are a certain age and say oh it's i'm too old for that no that's uh that's great that's a myth that's because great. really at the end of the day i, I actually think that using social media and being able to use Movavi has actually been good for me. And I actually think it's better for me than any other thing I could have done because it keeps my, it gets me fresh. Fresh. Yeah, I see that actually. Interesting. Yeah. Being oh, able to talk yeah. to different people about different things. Yeah. And the other thing I think it's good for, it's kind of like it takes you out your own narrow frame of reference. Yeah. And what I would love to see now, and I think this is what, what I would love, that we computer literacy also means knowing how to debate and use dialogue online instead of just getting all the capital letters, you're an Egypt or whatever. Yeah. Even though we don't agree, I think it's good to listen and learn how to dialogue. And that is part of computer literacy too, and social true, media true. literacy. No, that's true. Great. Great, Ray. We almost, almost again finished. Oh. We we just should mention as well again your your exhibition at the Lichinos at the twelfth of September. Twelfth of September, and this is another thing. I'm coming out of my comfort zone. It's my very first 
exhibition on my own, but I'm it, looking forward it, to it. It's great. And I would do a little <clears throat> little experiment. I asked Ray if she would be able to to do a short poem and what I would like to do with it on a later stage, I would do an electro funk punk uh, experience of it. I mean, I don't know when I find the time, but if I find it, I, I will I will play it in the podcast as well. So yeah. So okay. I'm looking forward. Here we go. Okay. Now most of my stories are about six minutes, and that's too long for this. So what I'll do is I'll come in to the middle of a story. Okay. So please, listeners, this is the middle. Okay. Have you ever had that feeling when the air whispers with your name? When restlessness is upon you and the sweat trickles down the nape of your neck? Well, I'm going to tell you something. That happened to me one night Maybe not so very long ago. I find myself in the luggy bank. And despite it being a clear night, there was an odd mist that hovered around. I could taste saliva thickening in my throat. But my eyes settled on the large, bulbous moon ahead. It hung low across the landscape. It flirted bewitchingly. But my eyes were drawn to the old lone willow. Now this willow was my place of haven. A place where I would allow my imagination and my eyes to drift around the lobby bank. I even appreciated the presence of heron women. Now I'm going to end the story there. And if you come to my exhibition, you'll get to know the rest of the story. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Oh, and I've just got to say, she said, and who said, but she said, I am the voice of your history and her story. And that is why the storyteller is important. That's true. Ray, thank you, thank you very, very much. It thank you, Dad. I hope I was fine for it. It was a lovely talk. <laughs> and I, you know what? We're going to continue sometimes with it. Honestly, I mean, I, um, I probably still have to do a lot of talks with other people, but I would love to continue. Maybe we're going to make, make make a special special with with, uh, with a couple of, of your your thingies, your, <laughs> your stories, you know. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck with the exhibition. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. This is a listener-supported show. If you like what you hear, be sure to tune in Friday for the second part of this weekly audio. I feel honored if you subscribe to the show. You can follow me non-financial with the following click on one of my Instagram accounts or subscribe to the visual version of this podcast on YouTube via If you want to leave a donation for a coffee or a bus ticket, just follow the donation link via the Artitude podcast. Eventually, I would like to thank through this medium all my members and listeners of the I Love West Cork Artists Network from all over the world. Just to remember myself that without you this year couldn't and wouldn't happen. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Attitude, never so close again. Ah. That was too close.